uh, hello everyone, hello brothers and sisters. So, in a dream, uh, if you would remember in the past dream, but uh, just for reminder, I saw four moons. Before I saw in a vision four moons and I didn't get what does that mean because I'm always looked never looked at the, at the, at the dates of the moons I uh, just looked to the uh, 6th of April and he showed me four moons once in the vision and after that he showed me in a dream I said look how many moons and I counted one two three four and up to the on the where it was four moons there was a fifth one black one moon it said look one two three four and the black moon and in a dream I had a sentence three and a half years and I asked girl how what is your I asked how how old are you she said 19 and what's your sentence just seven years so I do now understand what does that mean but I'm not setting a date do not nothing I don't don't setting a date. I'm just telling you the fourth moon is on 21st of April on the Passover as I'm understand and never why for what reason I fought a Passover on the 6th sorry <laughs> I, don't, I don't I don't really know I just look at that now and someone said it's Passover 21 I said what? It's not. It's a six. He said, no, it is. So I didn't even knew what a Passover is on the 26th, uh, 21st. So I just like, come on. We call it Easter. Okay, Easter. And that's on 21. So see how great is God is. He's showing things what I didn't even knew. Because I'm, I told you before, I'm totally new in all that. I never knew when is a Passover or something like and still uh, this is my uh, like an only first year which I was getting because a year ago at about time of um, in uh, early 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 summer or late spring it's my dreams that begins and my journey with God begins only on that time so uh, basically, I'm totally new. I didn't have a, even Bible in that time, and uh, the God decided to teach me by Himself, uh, Holy Spirit. <laughs> and I jumped through the, all confessions very quick. I go to a Mormon church once, and the Holy Spirit just dragged me out of there. So that I just feel something wrong there. I didn't know at the time what's wrong. I go there, go there, and I ne I didn't saw nowhere. God, wherever I, I try to find him, and I even order a few uh, icons from um, our Orthodox Russian Church, and I felt so bad. I telling you, uh, I just felt like I'm left alone again, and I just hide them. I didn't throw them away. I just take uh, and hide them, and everything gets again. That's how I basically communicate. Uh, it's uh, I feel it. I feel its presence. It's here. It's here. If it's not, it's very hard. I, I, I tell you, it's very hard. Uh, the demons just uh, raping you in the night. You know something like that, and it is bad. You know, but that's I think only way to understand for me what's wrong or what's right through the hard lessons like. Uh, like this so I'm basically getting it receiving it and it's get away straight away when something wrong so when the people say uh, accept Jesus be baptized and you're gonna have a Holy Spirit yes you will have it but you need to keep it if you're on wrong direction the Holy Spirit not gonna stay in that and you you're not gonna teach you you're not gonna he will teach you but he will teach you something like that and it's not gonna stay you if you like sin if you like uh, idols if you like uh, if you disobey I will tell you if you disobey he's not gonna stay as simple as that yes you will receive it 
but he's not gonna show himself and not gonna help you for wicked for your wicked ways. Even if you do not know that what is that wicked, it doesn't matter. You know it or you're not. Nothing is changed. Wicked ways is still wicked, even if you do not know. So that's how I communicate. I don't know how, who communicate and what. And I try to go to the churches. The church, some have a biggest resistance in the churches, basically. The simple people listen more. And I try to explain them why it's so. And it's simple. It's a tree. It's a tree or a chain which can't be broken. For example, if you have a cat, and cat is good, you say, ah, kitty, kitty, good, kitty, good, kitty. In the same time, a cat disobey you, starting scratching you, doing that thing, you just get out of there, yes? It's a simple reaction. You don't want to be loved. You're not going to be loved. Simple. Same happens with a woman. When a woman disobeys and do something wrong, she's never going to be loved. Never. It's impossible. I just told you a sample with a cat. That's what Satan did. He disobeyed God and want to equalize himself. He wants to break a chain. He didn't like Father, Son, Satan, Michael, Raphael or Uriel. I don't know the old chain. I'm only man. But he disobeyed. He didn't like that. He wants to be in the front, more in the front. And that's when everything begins. All breaking chain begins. And the Satan doing the same to the people now. He tried to break a chain in the people. When you breaking a chain, you making harm to yourself. When you disobey a chain, you harm yourself. Because if I love a cat, I look up to him. Good cat. When cat disobeys, whatever, do whatever you want. If he's scratching me, biting me, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do with him. I still love him, but he is not a he don't want to be loved. Same thing with big people. Now we equal, we never we will be all different. The mice is not equal to the cat, and the stone not equal to the uh, to the to the mice. Why why mice can't be equal to the man? Why? Come on. Nah, it's a it's a it's a it's a only mouse. So what? This is a chain. This is a tree. And there is a purpose for that. As higher you are, as bigger responsibility, don't forget about it. It is everything. Everything is very, very simple. People do not understand. Do not understand. There is, there is no more man and there is no more woman. They don't even understand what that means. It doesn't mean make anyone, everyone equal. No, it isn't. Ah, people, people, people. I don't know how to explain it. When you understand who is a man, and who is a woman or male and female in a Jesus perspective on that time you're gonna start understand everything you're gonna start see all picture but until you eating from a tree of knowledge which fruits are comparison and competition can do nothing about it. You're never gonna understand it because you're still gonna compare and still gonna have a competition inside of it. There is no competition and there is no comparison. Everything one and the same. 
if it's not one tree, it's gonna be cutted and burned. I don't know how to explain you. I don't know. I tried. I tried my best. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Please, please. Please, do you love those who harm you? Are they washing your sins? Everyone who's harm you, they're basically washing your sins. If you let them do that, if you do not let them do it, you do not let your sins washed. And please do not pray against God. Don't say, oh God, God, I'm sick, why I'm sick, I want to be healed. What sin did you did? There was no way, other way to explain to you what you're doing something wrong. What sin did you did? If you're sick, what sin did you did? Ah, it was an accident. There is no accident in this world. There is no accident in this world. There is the two forces who can make that accident. So, if that bad force did it for you, so what sin did you did? But you have no protection from the good forces. Every time Jesus healed someone, he said, Do not sin no more. Or, I forgive you your sins. Rise up, take your bed and go. Get it? You can't be healed in the physical world if your soul is sick. Your soul is sick because of sin. Right? Simple. That's another thing. And, brothers and sisters, uh, please pray for me and please pray for yourself just not for being uh, powerful not for being that to to soften our hearts that's it and to do not you know i can explain you when um for example drug user total abuse drug user taking the drugs and it's so bad he's so drug abused these drugs are making him only sick they're not making him high sick physically and sick spiritually so who do you who did he done it not for himself not even his body not even his soul wanted so who do you did it for demon who is attached to him and who's not even making any hard job to force him for the demon so pray for you to see that for your demons to see that demon first if you find that demon 80% is done you can fight with your sins it's a, and pray for these eyes and for these spiritual ears to see and hear these things to see these things and hear how to solve them and i pray for everyone and each of you i know it's a, a very little amount of people listening this but uh, if you can uh, subscribe and just share this video because time is getting very 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 short and very very few care really so um, very few christians care i mean uh, lukewarm christians you know who's going to church and trying to buy the salvation and buy the good works or something you know making it ticks you can't be you can't do that that's a free gift free gift and you you can't just be a part of the tree or just don't be part of the tree. You can't earn it. You can't just be a tree, this tree. You can't be, uh, you can't uh, earn it. You can't just be it. 
I'm keep brothers and sisters. Thank you, everyone, and God bless you. Lord, God bless you. Father, bless you, <laughs> and I bless you too. Thank you.